Hey guys, so in this video I want to show you some problems of two-dimensional forces with friction. So we're going to be either pulling or pushing on a block um, and then there will be friction as well. So let's check it out. So remember first of all the forces at an angle must be decomposed into their x and y components. Also realize that forces applied in the y-axis, if you have any forces that are applied in the y-axis, um, that will affect your friction and the reason is forces in the y-axis will affect normal and normal will affect friction okay let's check it out so here a 10 kilogram block is initially at rest so initial velocity is zero on a flat surface right there the coefficients of friction between the block and the surface are 0.5 and 0.6 you pull on the block with 100 newtons so i'm going to draw it like this f equals 100 at positive 37. All right, calculate all the force in the block and then calculate the blocks AX and AY. So the first thing I'm going to do here is decompose this F. FX and FY. FX is F cosine of theta, so it's 100 cosine of 37. If you plug this in the calculator, you get an 80. FY is 100 sine of 37 and this gives you a 60. Okay, what other forces do I have? I have an mg pulling down. mg will be 10. I'm going to use gravity as 10 as well, so mg equals 100. Um, and do I have normal force here? I do because even though I'm pulling the box up with 60, that's not strong enough to lift it from the floor. Okay, so I can write here that since I don't I don't have to justify it, I could just calculate the normal here, but I can write since Fy is less than mg, there is a normal force. Okay, and also not only there's a normal force, but we know now that the acceleration in the y-axis must be zero because this box isn't getting lifted, it also doesn't break through the ground, right? Um, normal here will be 40. And that's because, remember, top cancels with bottom. So if you want to write that, you can write normal plus Fy, those are the two forces going up, have to equal mg, that's the force going down. And then you can use this to calculate normal to be 40. Okay, normal is 40. There's a coefficient of friction, so this is a rough surface, and there's a normal. Remember, friction is mu normal. So I have a mu and I have a normal, so I have friction. And if I'm pulling to the right, friction will oppose that, in, that attempt to move the box to the right. It will oppose it to the left here um, with, a, with friction. Now, we have to figure out um, whether this friction is enough, whether this force here is enough for me to move. So one way to do that is I can just calculate friction static to see if this box will move at all. Friction static is mu static normal. Mu static is the, the bigger of the two here, so it's 0.6 um, times normal, which is a 40. This is 24, okay? Let me calculate kinetic real quick. Kinetic is 0 0.5, 40, so it's 20. All right, to determine if it moves, I have to see, is this number greater than this number, and it is. So again here I can write, since Fx is greater than static friction max, remember this is my static friction max, right? This means that there will be an acceleration in the x-axis. The acceleration in the x-axis is not zero. This object will move. It also means that I'm going up against kinetic friction instead, okay? So this will be kinetic friction because I'm pulling hard enough okay so it would actually be a 20 over here all right and I want to know the acceleration in the X and Y I already know the acceleration the Y was zero because the forces are canceling there to find the acceleration in the X axis I'm gonna write F equals MA sum of all forces in the X equals M A X and A X is what I want the forces in the X axis are these two green forces over here so it's FX and friction so if you want, you can write positive Fx plus negative friction kinetic. Mass is 10, and Ax is what I want. 
um, this is 80 positive to the right and this is 20 to the left so if you do this you get that the acceleration is 6 meters per second squared okay notice how the fact that I pulled at an angle gave me an FY that's the big point here this FY changed my normal if it wasn't for this FY normal would have been 100 and this change in normal affected the change in both friction static and kinetic okay so that's it for this one I want you to try the next question which is very similar um, except that we are pushing down on the object instead of pulling up on it so let's give this a shot